So what are you saying, people? It's yes, another yes. episode of the social worker and the mentor. Um, this episode is a Black History Month special. Um, special. Bazwa, British Association of Social Workers, have asked myself and Robert to do um, a Black History Month special. And more kind of like talking about our experiences um, as, you know, black men in, you know, education and social care. You know, what kind of like the themes... Um, are there for us you know our own perspectives and our own life experiences um you know what i would say to everyone is rob i'm gonna advertise you know obviously for the social kind of mentor you can like you subscribe mm -hmm. um you know you share we're also on tiktok we are on instagram mm -hmm. we are also on spotify and also on twitter mm -hmm. so rob we and, got a tweet man. And, and guys remember as well guys listen it's free you're not paying for it all you got to do is get your finger and just go doot, 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 doot. And that's what you got to do. Mm. It's free, you know. You know. So um, and yeah, we we appreciate all your support. Yeah. And um, we're enjoying the journey. We hope you're enjoying the journey. And um, there's much more to come. So um, yeah, look out for a year. Two twenty three is going to be a madness. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. But yeah, Rob, Black History Month. Mm. Um, important. Very very important. Controversial, yeah. controversial and important. Yeah, it's controversial and important. Um, you know, I think obviously for us as a community, as a people. It is obviously looking at our history, mm. um, you know, kind of us looking at how, you know, we've had to overcome so many things mm -hmm. and, and we still are, yeah. um, not just in the UK, but also mm. kind of like globally, mm. you know. But I think for me, Rob, you know, when I first became a social worker, well, actually before I qualified mm. being, being um, a social worker, um, I always kind of wanted to work with um, with young people, mm. Yeah. And when I was a young person advocate, mm -hmm. um, I worked with quite a lot of young black um, men. This yeah. is when I was 16 before I qualified. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was kind of like my avenue to go into social work anyway. Mm -hmm. But I always felt for me that it was necessary for me to become a social worker because mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to show, um, you know, a lot of these young black men actually that I can be a positive role model. And, and, that's, and that's actually quite rare, you know that from 16 years old that you actually had that mentality because I'm, I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you bruv it's very rare that you hear a young black whether you're male or female you hear that that from so young they want to yeah. be a social worker so that's quite rare yeah you don't that. really hear it to be honest with you you don't know you don't hear it at all um, but I wanted to go into social work um, because I actually did want to make a difference but also I kind of wanted to show um how being a black male can be very much different. You know, I think growing up, I'd always kind of seen a lot of things in terms of the media, in terms of how black men are portrayed, the negative stereotypes, the labels, the fact that, you know, we're associated with criminality. Yeah. Um, you know, just those generic things you already hear. Mm. So social work for me was an avenue to kind of change um, that stereotype. And being a black male social worker, I've kind of really appreciated um, that. It hasn't always been smooth sailing or being um, easy. There's a lot of things and adversities that I've had to obviously go through mm. being a black male social worker. And I've kind of always said to a lot of people who, if they ask me and say, Nana, you know, what is your aspiration? I always say, you know what? I really want to get to the top in terms of the social work hierarchy. Yeah. I want to be that black man mm. who is a director. Um, mm. And the reason why I'm so passionate about that, it, it mm. wasn't just Rob for my own um, career mm. but it's because I always feel that actually um, there's not enough black men mm. who are in the social work profession yeah. and there's not a lot of young people or young black men who would aspire to be a social worker and I wanted to kind of show that actually you know what there's more to us than just kicking a football mm. and just rapping yeah. as a black man I can be educated and, and do you know what? that's it's quite worrying it's worrying because you know, the if you ask most um, black African minority ethnic groups, what do you want to be? As you said just now, I want to be a singer, an actor, a footballer. Or want to go into rapping or, or do you know what I mean? You're not hearing, I want to be a social worker, a teacher, I a want doctor, to be a, a I nurse, want to be a, I want to be a mentor. An engineer, a mentor. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, um, to be honest with you, it is slightly getting better, better when I hear mentoring or I want to give back. But the social worker... I don't hear that. And this is why this podcast, and I know there's others, but call me bias. This is why our podcast is very, very important because 
You know, I want people, you know, um, you know, trainee social workers or student social workers. And these are also young professionals. I want them to look at you as, rah, there's, there's a young guy here called Nana and, you know, he's passionate and, um, you know, he's in a role that can make a difference. And he represents me. He looks like me. And he looks like me. Yeah. Which is very important as well. Yeah. Because it's about image, isn't it? It's about image. It's about, you know, the stereotype, you know, so the, the stereotype is you are a young black man, but also being a young black man, there are challenges. There are, bruv, there's challenges that, you know, that I'm always regularly going to be dealing with, mm. you know. I mean, when people like, before even me and Rob made um, this podcast, me mm. and Rob spoke about, this is Black History Month, but me and Rob spoke about our podcast and why it's important. Mm. We feel as though it's important for you to see black men mm. who are positive. Yeah. Yeah. Black men who can be influential, mm. black excellence, black men who can mm. be leaders that negate any stereotype that anybody, um, you know, will have of us. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It doesn't mean to say that me and Rob don't have lived experiences, you know, or that me and Rob ain't been stopped by the police. Mm. I can't tell you how many times Rob's been stopped by the by police. Mm. I can't tell you how many times I have. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You know, but we're trying to show people that, you know what, black men, you know, can be seen in a lot more of a positive way. And black yeah. that's what Black History Month for us, you know, as a community and as a people, you know, is, yes, we have to remember what we've been through, mm. but we also want to, change things we want yeah. to be able to change um the systems we want to be able to have uncomfortable conversations with mm. people to say that you know what this is what we're going through this is what this is what we're having to do but yeah. even like the last episodes like that we did mm. when we look about episode eight and episode mm. nine and we spoke about you know um career progression and leadership mm. and stereotypes and discrimination mm. and we're given lived experiences because that is experiences that I've actually gone through. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And bruv, to be honest with you, I know I will still go through that. Mm. As high up the chain I will go and progress, mm. even in my current role, yeah. I've still got adversities that I know oh, that yeah. as a black man that I'm gonna that I am gonna be dealing with yeah. as I go up the ladder. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what makes us why well, I me and you got on so much? Well, we're very similar. Um in a lot of ways. Um Part of my personality as a black man is um, I don't care. And I have, I have a bit of a don't care attitude. And I'll tell you the reason why I have a bit of a don't care attitude. Not caring may come across as being negative, mm. but not caring also gets you far. And there's a word called acceptance. Yeah, acceptance. And as a black man as well, you know, as you said before, um, being black is not easy. No, it's not. Being black is a struggle. And I don't want to come across as, oh, yeah, I'm trying to be uh, playing the victim. No, no, bruv. Because, talk, bruv, right? talk it up. Because it's, not, it because, up. Th because it's not that. This is just like the, like the reality. Yeah? It's hard. Um, now, I don't want to be a broken record, and you might have heard me say this before, okay, yeah? You know, so in our job role, we do work with local authority. We work with the police. We work with many different professionals, okay, yeah? And um, there's many a time working with the police... They've made me feel like shit. Excuse mm. my language. They've made me feel that small. Yeah. They've made me to the point where I felt like I wasn't good enough. I'm like, rah, man's trying to like give back, be a positive role model. Because guess what? In our job roles, it's a necessity that we give back to this younger generation. Absolutely. Very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Very, very important. We've got to change the narrative. Yeah. To understand, right? Yeah. But when you do work with um, so example we know that the police don't always have a great reputation in terms of sorry they don't have a great reputation within the community our community right, yeah, yeah right true, yeah. it's it's a very negative bad bad one right now as, as we know right yeah now I understand that police also have to do their jobs you know they, they have a job and we have to respect it but sometimes it's the people skills it's how you talk to someone or how you um, deal with that situation accordingly you know, there's a certain manner that you got to, um, you know, um, uh, come across in a certain way. But I'm also helping the youths. Now, what it is, right, yeah, which bothers me even now is it's the stereotype. They might see me like in a tracksuit, yeah, or trainers. I has got a go-to for a like, particular hairstyle, whatever, whatnot. And already I've been judged. Even before I've spoken, they've already judged me and said, yeah, he looks like a yeah, he's, he's, drug dealer yeah, he's or road, a road man. Yeah, gang member. Or gang member yeah, or, the, the, or some or some kingpin or there's something funny about him. Right, yeah? Right? And it happens. 
But I now have the mentality. I just get on with it. Yeah, I just but, get on with it. Yeah, but Rob, but I know Rob. I just Rob, get on with it. Rob, I know you're saying that, yeah. But at the same time, it's not good. But I just get on with it. That also needs to, to change because, as you said, it is a struggle being black. Being a black man, you know, it is a struggle. But Even, bro, it's not going to change. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you, bro, it's it, it is a struggle to be mm. a black man. How? Bro, I have to navigate. I, I can't tell you how many times, yeah, that mm. my mum and dad speak to me all the time mm. that, you know what, as a black man, mm. Nana, you got to work hard. You do. Like, mum and dad always say to me, listen, you're in a good position. You're mm. team manager, yeah, but it don't stop there. No, don't. You still need to, you still need to work hard. Yeah. Because I still know that there's going to be a lot of barriers mm. for me. No matter, bro, how high I go up the chain, mm. there's still going to be a lot of barriers um, mm. for me. I know when I'm out in public, how I have to manage myself when mm. I go into certain arenas, how I need to speak, how I present. Because mm. the way I see it, brother, in this world, yeah, as a black man, how I feel sometimes is that mm. somebody's waiting for me to slip up. Of course they are. That's how I, I feel. Of course. Somebody's waiting for me yeah. to actually slip up. And, this is, you, and this is why... You know, we have to make sure we, we, we talk appropriately. Yeah. Right? We have the right grammar. Talk the right jargon. Talk the right jargon. Right? Conduct ourselves so, in the right way, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes what's unfortunate, you might have the same piece of paper as George. So you and George have got exactly the same piece of paper. You might go for one role or a particular role within the, the same, uh, you know, workplace, whatever, whatnot. George might get it. You're thinking, hang on a minute. I've got the same experience as George. Mm. And you don't get it. And then you're baffled thinking, oh, why haven't I got the job role? Yeah. You're thinking, nah. Like, what is it? Is it me? And then you feel a bit of a weight, don't you? Right, yeah? Yeah. But little do you know, his face might just fit. Right? We so don't we, know. We said that in episode eight, episode yeah, nine, it's Because we don't know, bruv, yeah? But as you said before, it's the, we have to work twice as hard, unfortunately. And bruv, the world is fickle. Right, yeah? It's, it's tough times. And um, for me, unfortunately, you know, I can't see a lot of things changing. But one thing I am going to continue to do is continue to inspire and motivate because I feel it's a necessity as a black man to give back and talk. And guess what? I may only change 20 young people's um, uh, mentality in showing them that actually being a mentor is all right. And do you know what makes me feel good? When I get a phone call out of the blue. Yeah. Oh, are yeah, you Robert? I want to be a mentor, you know. I'm no, like, but, I'm no, like, but, I'm no, but that's good. But you know why, Rob? That's mm. good though, because I think what you've able to do is that, like you said, mm. people have a depiction of you and how how you are as a black man. Yeah, yeah. But then people don't realize that actually this guy's got a lot of education qualification, but behind him. Yeah. So then you're inspiring young people. Yeah. To be like, you know what? Mm. Like, I want to be like Rob. Mm. You might inspire other young black men. I want to be like yeah. Rob. Yeah. For me, it might be different. For me. I'm a social worker, so by nature of my job that I do, mm. people don't won't like me anyway. But what I am hoping mm. is that through being a young black male social worker, I mm. can give young people just like you, um, you know, another avenue to say, you know what, actually, yes. that's a black man who's not a footballer. Mm. No, and like I said, this is not me like this is not me saying anything about football because you know what, no. there are black footballers who do what. And I'm yeah. saying, but what I'm saying is that it's about us being able in education and social care mm. to also get other young black men yeah. and women to be like, you know, actually there's young black men, there's mm. Robert and Nana mm. and their social worker and their mentor. Yeah. And you know, what, actually we can also do that. Memory. Just like yeah. young black men are going to say, you know what? Yeah. I want to be like Saka. I want to be like Sterling yeah. because they see people who look like them who are on TV. Mm. They might want to see rappers. They might see, do you know what I'm going to say? Like mm. they've got people like, oh, I can rap. Yeah. Like I see Stormzy out on there. Yeah. I can do that. I, can't, I want the same kind of thing for us to be like, you know, actually, Robert and Nana, they can also set that example for mm. us to be able to go and do that. Do you know what I mean? What I would say is, um, there's a sense of playing it safe. Let's keep it real, bruv. Right, yeah? Um, do you think as a community we play it safe for men? Like, I, that's what... Go on, go on. No, I'll let you go. If I'm, 50, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm 15 years old right now, yeah, in this generation, like 15 years old right now in this generation, and I want to be a footballer, um, uh, now, me making it is one in a million. But me reaching a certain level, there's a chance. Me being a rapper, all I've got to do is, um, there's normally a, a studio like in my school, yeah. in my local area. Me being a form of an actor. So these things are achievable, right? Yeah, They're still hard, but they're actually achievable yeah. in our current climate now in 2022, right? Yeah. But to be a social worker, oh my God, it's work. You know, there's too much shortcuts 
Right, yeah. And I think it's important for me to say this as well because, you know, hard work pays off. Yeah, hard work pays off. And I think even as adults and grown-ups, we also have this mentality that, you know, we shy away from hard work. Being a social worker is a phenomenal life-changing thing for a family, you know, because obviously the social worker, you know, it's their input. But someone like yourself, say, and I think this is important as well. I think it's important that you tell people what it took for you to get there and what you studied. Because I think um, it's important for young black men, yeah. young black women out there to hear, because let's keep it real, bruv. And this, this is a negative thing, but this has just been real now, yeah? Right? A lot of the generation, they like the shortcut route. Yeah. Yeah? Um, less young people are going to university now. Right, yeah? They're bypassing university and maybe going on to courses um, that are less at the time, yeah? But for me, university is still a massive, yeah. important thing to go to. Yeah. So I think it's important that maybe, like, you tell some of the younger generation, you know, what um, qualifications, yeah. what it took for you to get there, so they know. And also to assure them that, yes, it's going to be harder, but yeah. guess what? It's worth it. Because it. what Robert is saying is right. Because, Rob, I wanted to do, it, it was difficult. Mm. You know what I mean? I had my own difficulties as well. Do you know what I mean? And, um, but I went to university. I got my, mm. I got my, I, I got my degree. Mm. Um, but, even in terms of like work, how, how long was the degree? The degree was like three years. So three, okay. you know, three year degree. Um, actually, no. Funny enough, actually, um, I had to retake some module in it. So yeah, okay. But I persevered and I worked very hard. Mm. And my drive for me was that I wanted to go into social work leadership. Mm. Yeah. So I worked very hard. I was very mm. very focused. And I think for me, what I saw when I came into social work is that you know. I saw a lot of, um, particularly in our line of work, you mm. see a lot of black, a lot of black people, mm. um, particularly women, they mm. go into social work. Yeah. And there wasn't a lot of kind of um, black men who were there. 100%. And I question, yeah. I question the reason why. Yeah. Why is it there's not a lot of young black men mm. who are doing it? So I said, you know what? Why, why is that? Um, well, one, I'd say because the profession anyway, you know, we've talked about before stigma, mm. profession anyway is not rated. Mm. Um, do you know what I mean? Mm. But number two, I don't think like, you'll tend to see maybe young black men going into, into youth offending. Yeah. You might see more youth offending social, youth offending um, service officers, mm. um, but you won't really tend to see young black yeah. male social workers. Mm. You'll tend to see older black male social workers. So, so I kind of said to myself, you know what? I've seen that gap. Mm. That's something that I need to fill. And then I said to myself, you know what? Actually, as I'm going up the chain, hmm, you know what? There's no young black male managers, yeah, you know? Yeah. There isn't. I need to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. Then I started looking a bit higher. You know what? I don't see a black director. Mm. I'm going to go and, and change that. So yeah. I worked very, 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 very hard. But I've had my hurdles and barriers mm -hmm. had to go through that I still, um, that I still go through. Yeah. And obviously, Black History Month for me, when I attribute what we've been through as a people and our truth, because remember, bruv, when you think about it, we're working for a system that has been against us. Yeah. When you, bro, when you deep it, yeah, mm. we actually work for a system, yeah, mm. that in a way has put us down at the same time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So even like doing that, mm. in a way, I'm kind of like, you know what, all right, I'm aware of um, the racial structural barriers that are, mm. that, you know, me mm. and Rob have to deal with in our line of work. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, working in that system, I want to be the one to actually change that. And yeah. I know people might go and say, well, you know what? You can't change the system because the system's been there for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of yeah. years. Do you know what I mean? It is going to be hard. But you know what? It, I want to be able to penetrate it. Yeah. Do you know to say to you? And social work for me, mm. like like I said, it, it, it's, it's never been about, um, it's not just about pay and the work that mm. we're doing, but leadership for me, bruv, mm. like I want to be a solid, I want to be a solid black leader. Mm. In children's social care, which yeah, why is why not? this yeah. podcast to me, mm. when I did it with you, it was important. Mm. I felt it was important for me and you as black men to do this podcast. Why? Because me and you need to be sending a message. Yeah. Send a message to people that you know are actually, there's black men out there. Yeah. Yeah. Who are professional. Yeah. Who are educated. Mm -hmm. who, all, who come from the same struggle. Mm -hmm. Who have the same hurdles. Yeah. We have the same narrative. We have the same dealings mm. with the police, mm. even though we work with them. Yeah. You know, but... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change hundred percent. I think what's quite important as well. This is this is very very important, yeah. Because you know we can go on and talk f about this topic of conversation from different angles for hours and hours and hours, yeah. But I must say this right, yeah. You know, society is a massive part of how we live. You know, upbringing, choices, and decisions, especially in our in our job role as well, bro. 
this is just me being honest, you know, um, you know, as of right now, knife crime ain't stopping. Knife crime's not it's, knife crime is not stopping anytime soon. This is me just keeping it real, right? But I have to I have to say this right, yeah, because um there are a lot of negative impacts or normalized things going on in the world right now, yeah. Um there's always gonna be racism, bruv. It's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. Right? It's not it's not it's not going to change. In all walks right? of life. There, there, there's, there's no point trying to like harbour or no, don't say that. No, it's no, not it exists going to change um, I, I'm right, yeah? like in, in our, as you said in our line of work racism is there right okay yeah education racism is there that's it right yeah yeah um ignorance it's not going anywhere it's here to stay right yeah morals the word morals now that's a, that's a, that's a word i like to sort of like play with and i like to sort of like talk about you know the word morals do people care anymore you know do people really have empathy yeah do people really want to see change? This is the question. Now, unfortunately, you know, as black men, black, sorry, black men, black men are always going to fight. Unfortunately, after our generation, it's going to be the same and the same and the same and the same. But hopefully it can change. But what we can do, as, as you clearly said just now, is do our little bit. And it may not be great, but guess what? It's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Right. Yeah. But, for me, we have to we have to also accept that um, there is a particular thing going on right now that we can't change, right? Yeah, I feel sorry for a lot of these young people that I work with. You know, um, young offenders, um, that those in care or, or, or vulnerable, and they lead they lead and live crappy, horrible lives right now, and they're lost. But well, you know what? I'm I'm going to go even a bit deeper with you, which is what you're yeah. saying, yeah. Because I remember on the BBC a while back. Um, I was watching, um, it, was some, it was something to do with um, black history mm -hmm. and more around how um, the trauma as a people, is what mm. we've been through, mm. is, is transgeneration. It's, it's, it's literally gone from generation to mm. generation. And, and yeah. as a people, we're still feeling the ramifications today. I mean, mm. yes, we can talk about colonialism and all mm. that, but, but which is all part of it. Mm. But we're still feeling the ramifications today, mm. even aspects of our mental health. Mm. Because bruv, it's, it's even sad sometimes that even like, you know, bruv, like when you're out on the street as a black mm. man, and it's kind of like, you know, like there's some, you know, like, you know the bounce, isn't mm -hmm. it? When you see a brother, yeah. it's the bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. sometimes, you're out on the street mm. and there's a screw face. It's like, mm. why is it like, as a people, yeah. why is it like, kind of like, I'm standoffish, like with my fellow brother, when I should be like, you know what? Let me kind of like, bounce my head. Mm. Like, when me and you started doing this, you introduced mm. me to like, to Francis. Like, yeah, Francis yeah. was like, mm. like, man just came in, mm. embraced me, yeah. you know? But, I think that trauma that we have as a people yeah. is so, it's so community. In community. It's, it's the it's community, so, bro. It's, it's so, community. so yeah. ingrained yeah. that it's like, even if you see another black man doing well, mm. people might go and say, oh, well, like, well, he's sell out. He's forgotten where he's came from. Mm. Rather than be like, you know what? That's black excellence. Yeah. Like, He's doing well. Like mm. when I see you, brother, and you're doing your you're doing your thing, yeah. Mm. And I see the work and I see your success. Mm. I'm happy. I'm like, you know what? Of my, bro my brother's actually doing well. That's how it should my be. My brother is doing well. Yeah, yeah. If my brother's got a nice car, he's mm. doing well. Mm. When I'm out here, we're we're filming, mm. yeah. Like this this thing that Francis did, bro, my brother yeah. Francis is doing is, is doing yeah. good. That's what we need to be doing. But also, it's a mentality thing. Mm. Yeah. Mentality. Also, it's the people that you have as your friendship groups mm. and the people that you're associated with. Yeah. Let me tell you something, brother. Right, yeah? I've had to change my friendship groups quite a few times. Yeah? I've had to. Because you're not... I don't know about you. In fact, I do know. But I like to progress. Yeah? I don't like standing still. Yeah? I don't want to be where I was five years ago. I don't, I don't want to be where I was two years ago. Yeah? I like moving forward. Right, yeah? And... If you associate with like-minded people like yourself, you're going to progress, yeah. right? And unfortunately, this isn't just, you know, um, you know, about me and you. This also um, goes to the younger generation. That's right. Part of your journey, part of your journey is your friendship groups. Part of your journey is also family. There are some family also along the way that might not be part of the bus ride, bruv. Yeah? yeah. Because, bruv, it's about going up. Yeah. It's not about going down. It's about going up, up the ladder, right, yeah? And to get to the top of that ladder, right, yeah, you've got to make some serious decisions that may affect family, friendship groups, and people that you thought were your, 
you thought that was your people them or your family and they're not your people no more you can't trust them anymore yeah right yeah and you've got to make these decisions so it's like um um you might want to make a difference in a particular workplace so there's a school i used to work in yeah and i was quite influential and money was good um the staff were absolutely fantastic but after a while it doesn't it, it's not enough yeah you want more i want more you want to progress i want to progress right yeah so you have to go right yeah you have to go and, and you have to make these decisions and i think as well as a black man you have to make conscious decision what is the next move and bruv do you know what you said is that is absolutely amazing as black men we have to make conscious decisions. And, I, and i think mm -hmm. that sometimes we, i think as a community um i think something we're too focused on status mm. on oh who drives the nice whip and all, and yeah, all that yeah. it's not about and that it's not about it's that. not about that like how i am as a black man i always mm. feel about think mm. about the long game yeah i think about okay this is where i am right now um you know what this is where i want to be which is why i say to everybody when everyone asks me nana where do you want to be in the next mm. five ten years i said you know what i'm going to be a director of children's services yeah yeah you're going to see a black man up yeah, there yeah, yeah, and yeah. i speak into existence that's it because i'm already thinking about the next five to six seven eight years of course yeah i'm going to get there yeah but we have to start making conscious decisions we do 100 we need to also i think we need to see a lot more um black male mm. role models mm. we do i think as a community that we're, we're trying to get better mm. but we still lack that yeah i think um this is another thing as well so Social media is yin and yang. Social media is a gift and a curse. Um, I think when it comes to the entertainment industry, um, our black culture, we have it on lockdown. Look what Stormzy. No, no, lo no, lock. We have no, it on we lockdown. Do. We got it locked off. Look right, what Stormzy yeah. did recently. Let me do it. Yeah. A1. Right, so that's the entertainment industry. So that's on that's on lockdown. Lockdown, yeah. I think when, we, when it comes to the sports industry, we have it on, on lockdown. lockdown. Yeah, all right? Yeah. But here... When it comes to education social care it's not as locked down no, it's not. as it should be no it's not it's changing it's getting better you know there's more and more um you know s social worker education you know just um lifestyle uh podcast that are helping the community and society yeah. as, as well, a, we haven't we haven't got to lock off but we don't have it on lockdown yeah no right, right. You're, you're right and you're right you're it, right and, and it does need to improve no it right? does it does and um as i said before the narrative is as i said before is that you know um Education is the key. Without without education, you will not be a social worker. That's right. Right? Without um, education, I want to have my qualification as a mentor. No, you're right. I'm a child counsellor. A lot of people don't even know that. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Counselling. Yeah. Do you know what modules and what you have to go through to do counselling, bro? The training, the theory. The, the training, practice. the theory. Right, yeah. yeah. The right, direct work, right. of the placements. Yeah. No, you, Rob. You, you understand, what, what yeah? What you're saying, Rob, you, you're right. I think what you said is, is spot on. I think in the, uh, you know, football industry, in the same industry, the black community, we, we mm. have it lock off. You, yeah. we, you can't, you can't globally. Yeah. But this sector here, mm. social care education, we 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 don't. Yeah, we, we actually don't. don't. We don't because really. sometimes it was like, do you know when I used to go into some home mm. visits? Some people were like, a young black male social worker. Yeah, it, was yeah, like yeah. A, it was like it was like a phenomenon. Yeah, like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get it. Like, I, swear, I, I didn't get. It. I was like, mm. what? A young black male social worker. And a, a, a woman said to me, "You know what, Nana? To be honest with you, my my son, mm. like, he actually needs mm. he needs you. Yeah, you know, he hasn't. He's never had a young a young black male mm. social worker, bro. And I still hear it a lot. Mm. Like in youth offending, yeah, but a black male social yeah, yeah, worker yeah, yeah, yeah. who's who's young." Yeah. You don't hear that. And no, you you're don't, right. you don't. It's not and, common. It's not and, common. And, and you're right. From our perspective, and that's from our perspective, we don't have that. I mm. think, bro, even with you, and it's just like education, like, bro, there needs to be more of you. Mm. They need, like, they, I'm not trying to yeah. gas him up, but no, there yeah, needs yeah, to yeah, be yeah. more Robert Dyers. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. are some mentors who are doing, like, we no, can name some, there are but some, we know. There are some fantastic ones. That, ones fantastic. that we know personally, yeah, fantastic. and yeah, you yeah. know who you are. Big up, big up yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, there needs to be more Robert Dyers. Mm, mm, mm. Because I think like, particularly for our young black men, mm. particularly what goes on for them in school yeah. when they're angry or they can't identify him, yeah. they are able to identify with you. You know what? Now miss, I want to talk to Rob. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Now, but you know, no, but yeah. Rob, it's important. Yeah. It's just like, for me, yeah. if when I've had young black children mm. on my caseload, yeah, mm. and like, they're in school. Mm. There's there's things going on in school. Yeah, yeah. They're like, the teachers like Nana, or mm. they they're like, can I call my social worker, mm. please? Like Nana, can you come in? And I'm like, okay, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. And I'm able to be like, listen, now nah, you know what, little man, yeah, nah, you was wrong here. 
course, yeah. of course. I, can't, I can't fight your corner for, yeah. I can't fight your corner actually no you're right miss I'm yeah. sorry but I'm I'm just trying to put social worker now he's right just, you, 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 you get it and that's a great thing because obviously you know they've now recognised you as a role model without them even realising, you know, that that's you're a role model as well. I'll take one thing that's important for me also as a black man. This is very, very, very important, right? Mm. Yeah. Mindset. Yes. Right? Let me say something, right? Yeah. See my mindset. My mindset is, I know I can make a difference. That's my mindset. Yeah. So I don't think negative. I don't think about the struggle or the pitfalls because for me, yeah, it is what it is. Right? Yeah. yeah? You're, always, you're always going to have stereotypes or... Um, they look at you in a certain Same way. way yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. So oh, for me, he's another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for me, this, yeah. so for me, it's, all right, whatever. Yeah. I don't care, yeah. right, yeah? What I care about is making a, a difference. difference. That's what I care about, right? I don't care what manager or executive or company um, or has an opinion of me. I don't care. Mm. What I care about is making a difference. That's what I care about. Bruv, absolutely. You know what I'm coming from, yeah, right, no, yeah? Bruv, I, I Mindset. You. No, yeah? I agree with you. Because right? my mindset, bro, for me, always that you know what the sky's the limit mm. so i've always said you know as a black man yeah yeah i'm gonna work hard yeah i'm going to get there i'm mm. ambitious i've got qualities yeah that's yeah it. i'm gonna get there mm. black excellence yeah i know i'm gonna get there do you know what i'm saying to you and that's what it is you know and i think as i said before right yeah it's like it's also our responsibility to have that mindset because you gotta remember if you if you don't have that mindset right yeah and you pass on to the next person you're, you're, we're actually damaging them as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's times I go through phases. I just feel fed up. I feel, oh God, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, man. But you have to keep it moving. You have to keep it going, bro. We have to keep it going. It's a necessity. Do you know we what I mean? Have to yeah. Keep it going. We have to keep it going because yeah. we have to set a precedent for the next generation. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? saying to you? And I, I just think for me, like I said, with Black History, mm. you know why? Obviously, it's important because we have to celebrate yeah. our achievements as well. Oh. I don't want us to be. I don't want Black History just to be about. Yes, it is our history. What we've been through mm. in the UK, in America, but we also need to celebrate. Yeah. Where black people, men mm. and women, where we are doing well. Like, brother, I'll be honest with you. Do you know how proud it makes me mm. that everyone speaks positive of, of, of you? Mm. Like, that is fantastic. Mm. How people are like, you know, yeah, vice Robert versa. Is this. Yeah, vice you know versa. What I'm saying, like, for me, it's fantastic mm. when I see black leaders. Mm. Like, it's even, inspiring. Like, even, even like in, in, in my job, like, it makes me feel proud when mm. I see black women. Who are oh. who are who are doing fantastic? Fantastic! I love it. So I'm I love it. Oh, I love Bruh, it. Other I love, podcasts. I love it. Other podcasts that we could that mm. we could name. Mm. When I see other podcasts, it's fantastic black excellence that is doing very yeah. very good. Yeah, so I'm saying to you, yeah. and I don't want people to take this episode as oh that you know we're disregarding ever. It's not about that. I mm. think this particular episode here, why it's important, mm. is because you know we have to give our perspective as black men in terms of yeah. Our experiences and what we no 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 no, no 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 so like, let me be more let me be a little bit more blatant because you know I am. <laughs> it's October, <laughs> right? It's October. No, you're right. You're right. You're o right. October. You're right. October is Black, Black History, History Month. Month. Yeah. Uh, no, I, you, know, Francis, you know we. No, you no, no sometimes you know in the comments. No, that's that's the reason why I'm saying that because no, you know the comment. This is a special episode. <laughs> no. based on Black. No, 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 no. History no. Month. No, it's true. Right? Yeah. Okay. And also, this is this is also um a episode where you know um our followers from other you know racial backgrounds and yeah um, can, can come know, in yeah can learn can learn you know because I, I love learning right yeah so you know, i've got many asian friends white friends yeah bengali friends irish friends somalian friends kenyan friends i've got friends from different you know um countries and cultures right 100%. and i love learning about their culture and where you're yeah. from where are you from how do you think what are your methods that's right you know, what what's is your history what is your history you know but it just mm. happens that it's October. Yeah, Black History Month. Black History yeah. Month. I'm just saying because you know some of the comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So, so sometimes you have to make them just make them know. No, it is Black History. You know what I'm yeah. coming so from? We, yeah, we need to be celebrating Black excellence. Hundred percent. Yeah. I, I want to ask you, Rob. So mm. in terms of your kind of next path, um, what do you hope for ah. Black community? Mm. Boy, we'll be here in a minute. You know, like, all right, I can't say. Really. No, you, no, you got to tell the people, bro. No, okay, all right, so. I can't say exactly what's going to go on, but there's a lot of great things behind the scenes that's about to happen. Yeah. I am a very ambitious man. And I'll tell you what it is as well. Um, change, right? Change. Change is important. Making a difference is important. Challenging uh, the narrative is important, yeah? It is. But also as well, it's the change. 
I feel sometimes in education, social care, local authority, we're getting a little bit stale. And this is what I mean by that, yeah? What I mean by that is that, you know, um, I like to think outside the box. I like to be creative, yeah? We've gone through a crappy time in the human history life over the last two to three years, right, yeah? Mm. It's been difficult. You know, children need more help. I'm going to repeat again. All children, I, I, I was about to say, you know, um, uh, you know, black African minority ethnic groups, but no, forget that. Doesn't matter what color the child is, all children, children need, support, yeah. need help yeah. and support. There are a lot of vulnerable children out there. And as a black man, I feel that different strategies, different methods, that's right, and um, different ideas need to be brought to the table now. Yeah. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. Structure is important. Being regimented is important. But guys, let's think outside the box. So you know what? I've got some fantastic ideas, yeah? And some of them have been, uh, you know, they was closed door. Well, some of the ideas was, I was rejected or no, not this time. And I'm thinking, what? But you know when you got something? Yeah. You know when you can, because I tell people all the time, give me five grand. No, give me 10 grand. No, give me 50 grand. Give me 10 grand. And you'll flip it. And Trust you're making, me, yeah. I'm making a difference. It's not always about money. Oh, what's the budget? What's the money? No, everything's not money, guys. Yeah. It's not money. But yeah, it's what you do. To right, make, yeah. To make that change. Listen, um, Francis is Francis is in the building. I'm not even going to look at him, right? Yeah, um, and he might think, right, Robert's long sometimes, but it's not that I'm long. It's because I'm so busy being creative. Sometimes um, the creativity is just down there, yeah. but I should be up here. But then I'm busy doing other creative things as well, no. right? Yeah. But you know what? There's going to be some big changes in my life uh, for 2023, right? Yeah, and um, one of the things I want to do, I want to create something special. Um, for young people. I'm not going to say what it is, but um, brother, to cut the story short, I just want to make a, a difference. Yeah. I want to bring things to the table that's going to bring change. Right. Yeah. And in order for, in order for me to do that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to need a team. Right. Yeah. Um, it is sort of like a, bruv, ah, I don't want to say yeah, it. I don't want to say it. Don't right. Yeah. Don't want to the people. You don't want to say it. Yeah, but, but for me, bruv, um, bruv, I, I, I have an obsession with making a difference. I have no, that's good. I, I have you do. It's my obsession, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I if I don't if I haven't changed or helped that child, I get upset with myself. I'm like, rah, Robert, nah, fix that, bro. I look at myself in the mirror. Self reflection is very very important. Very important. Self reflection, right? Yeah. Every day we need to check ourselves. Yeah. You know, did I deal with this young person accordingly? Was my decision making or was my attitude towards my fellow professional right? You got to make sure. People skills is very, very important, especially no, as black men. Because, brother, listen, remember you've been looked at. Your, yeah. de your delivery. Yeah. The way you talk. Even, no, no, no. even emails. That is true. Oh, as a, as, hey, no, Ella. I, 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 no, oh. no. And, he, and you know what, yeah? It's true, though, isn't it? <laughs> and you know what? No, but... but he, 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 no, but he's right. But no, but... Even you know what, emails, though? But he's man. right, though. Because what you're saying as a black man, it's like every little thing, yeah, mm. you get wrong, you come under scrutiny, mm. you know? Oh, I think your tone was very aggressive. <laughs> The tone of your email is very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you're speaking to me is very aggressive. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I hate that word attached to black men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aggressive. Why can't you just use another word? It's yeah, yeah. aggressive. How you walk, how you present yourself, mm. how you are in that meeting. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all these things. I'm saying like- Tart the thing, tart like, the tart. It's true. All these tart things, the how you walk, how you dress. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sim. All these things when you're a black man, it's like, bro, you've got to G-check yourself every single day. Can I give you a quick example? Right, yeah. Um, do you know, I don't even want to sound negative, but I just want, to, I just want uh, our audience to just understand. Um, and as I said before, this isn't about playing victim. You know, this, this is just about- no, it's not. It's, it's it, our perspective and themes. It, it, yeah. So um, there was a time, um, a young person I worked with, um, he was on electric tag. Yeah. It was um, his last day. Sorry. He finished his electric tag and um, the actual tag company during COVID, um, uh, they couldn't return to the household. So they said, um, we must hand in the electric tag and the system to the local police station. So I've taken him to the police station. I've shown my, ident my identification, who I am, whatever, whatnot. He's telling me, oh, how do I, how do I know um, you are who you are? Even though you should have your ID. So I figured, is this guy having a laugh? This is, in the this, is, this is inside a police station, by the way, yeah? So I showed him my ID, then I took up my duty phone. I showed him the email. Yeah, of the police officer who told me to bring in the young person to hand in the tag and the system. Yeah, but you know the reason why. They, you know the reason why. Hang on, brother. 
So I was calm. So remember, I, to, I still have to conduct myself in a, um, me, uh, a, a mature and professional, and, and professional way. way in front of the young person, right? Yeah. Even though the young person knows about Robert's like commanding, but yeah. he, he's my mentor. But no, I still have to conduct myself in the right way, right? Yeah. So the police officer was kind of like, um, it's like he didn't believe me. It's like he's dismissive, dismissive, looking at me in a certain way. So I'm thinking, what's going yeah. on? So I go, excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. We've been waiting here 20 minutes. I've showed you the email. All we want to do is hand in the electric tag system. Is it possible, please, you can get me a scissors so we can cut it off? Oh, um, he might attack someone. So guess what? I had to like leave the place, the police station, drive to the high road, go to the pound shop, buy a scissors for one pound to cut the tag off, nah. drive back um, to the, the, um, the place station. where we parked, back to the police station. And do you know what? I was livid. So I goes, excuse me, who's your superior? Right, yeah? He goes, what fuck? I goes, you're rude. Right, yeah? So he goes, oh, you're rude. I go, okay, it's, absolutely, it's fantastic. Okay, cool. Right, yeah? I so, saw, I saw, I saw right? details. so I goes, oh, can I have your badge number, please? So I got my phone out. I took his badge number. took a picture of it. Yeah? Anyway, you see when you're good people, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah. So I rang someone who knows me, who's high, yeah? It was a high-ranking police officer, right, yeah? And I rang them and I told them my situation. She goes, no, no way. Right, yeah? I was then called back to that same police station a week and a half later on for the police officer to apologise to me. Because how, how, how are you dealing with me like that? Me? Because you're, you're judged. I'm thinking, let me get this straight. I'm bringing in a young person to take off his tag. Because you're judged. It's a five minute thing. Bro, because you're judged. But as I said before, brother, it, it's, um, these are scenarios that happen every day to professionals. And yeah. it's just part of the program. But you know what, bro? We have to just get on with it, unfortunately. And you know what? We have to like still inspire to be great. And after a while, do you know what? It happened. I keep it moving. And unfortunately, it's part of the parcel. But we have to, call, but you know, but we have to call out injustice where it is, bro. Oh, we do. We do. We, we, like, I think as, as a black social worker, black mentor, yeah, as men, black men, mm -hmm. we got to call it out. Yeah. If we feel that actually there's something underhand going on, you call it out and you say, yeah, actually, yeah. no, you know what? Yeah. There is some, there is some connotations that are, go, that yeah. are going on. You have to be able to go and call it. And I That's think as, a, as, as black men, we can't be, keep quiet about mm -hmm. it. It's important that we we are open mm. and we challenge it. Yeah. If someone says to be an aggressive, no, That's it. I'm challenging you mm. in terms of what you're saying, yeah. um, you know, which I disagree with. That doesn't make me uh, um, uh, aggressive. That's so it. even, bruv, like all those labels and stereotypes mm. here, bruv, we've got to knock it out of the park. Oh, we have to. We've got to knock it out of the park. Do you know, if, 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 there's, if, there's, two way, if there's two words that, um, that I would like to sort of like simplify and tell our audience, right, yeah, is be great. Be great. Mm. Be great, right, yeah? Just be great, right, yeah? And what I mean by being great is that you're going to have challenges, but be great and be educated. That's right. Be great. Because when you're educated and you know what you're talking about, you're a weapon. No one can't tell you anything. No one can tell you right, nothing. Yeah? But once you're educated, you can be great. Right, yeah? And you can bring things to the table. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And sooner or later, they can't ignore you, bro. No. Nah. Sooner or later, your time will come, you know? No. Nah. Just not coming from, right, yeah? So... It is about, it's about being great. It's about being educated and don't settle for less. And I think sometimes what we do sometimes um, as a culture, we settle. Don't settle. Why, why are you settling for? Want more, progress more. You can be great. Don't settle. Yeah. Like why settle for tea and biscuits? You could have, um, I don't know, um, chocolate eclair, champagne man. and um, caviar. Man, that's, a, that's a chocolate eclair. You understand? <laughs> he said, he said that's a chocolate eclair, you know. Chocolate. <laughs> That's a chocolate clear, you know. <laughs> no. And that's bare calories, you know. No, no. And that's bare calories, no, you know. What is that cream? I was just saying, you know, chocolate clears, and he's yeah, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Champagne cover your. No, but you're right, you're right. Do you know what I mean, bruv? You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. As you said um, on um, a number of times, black excellence, man. Yeah, no, nah, black great. excellence, man. Yeah, we need to be. Ah. Like, we can be great. Like, there's, there's so many good things. Do you know what I mean? That are out there for us as a people. Yeah, man. Yeah. And like I said, but Rob, but I understand, yeah, that that trauma, we experience it every single day. It's tough. And and that's what I'm saying. It's so tough. like, you know, like as a black man, like I think, like <gasps> Sorry, go on, go on. Yeah. Go on, like go on. when you when you um people don't realize this, but as a black man, when you step out of your house, mm -hmm. yeah, that my thing is like, what's the world got for me today? Mm. Like, for, for us, you know, you know the ones there, innit? Mm. Like, as a black man, you, as a black man, so you step out your house, mm. they're like, right, you know what? What has the world got in store for me today? Mm. And like, that's a, it's, it's a real thing. Mm. I don't think myself, you know what? What has the world got in store for me today? Mm. Like, okay, I've got to go to work. Okay, but 
what has the world got in store for me? Yeah. Today. Yep. You know this thing already, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but go on, bro. Yeah. yeah. You want to say, go on. Man. All right. So, one of the things I wanted to say, you talk, you, um, you just said about black trauma. Um, I was one of them people, and, I, and I'm going to say it because you know honesty is a very important. Right. I was one of them people. Well, I went through a phase. Ah, uh, you should go counselling. Counselling later. What am I going counselling for? But you see, counselling one of the best things I ever done. Best things I ever done. But, bro, but you know, but, but uh, I, I, get, I know the reason why. Uh, but I think uh, uh, counselling uh, a remedy. Uh, 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 hang on one second. Now, black men, yeah, black men. This is a known fact. Oh, the, the, gone. Yeah, right, yes, say right, it. I like right, right, say right, right, right. Counselling, yeah, yeah. right. Because I, I don't know whether you got it mixed up with where, where I'm coming from. Counselling. Black men don't like to chat. It's getting better. Yeah. It's getting, in fact, it's, got, it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. But we don't like to talk about Our what feelings. we went through when we was five or what it was like for mummy and daddy when they broke up or um, maybe uh, you're in a relationship and, um, you know, you, 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 like, you no longer see your children anymore. You see counselling, right, yeah? Please, I would advise it to many black professionals, male and female, but as a black man, man to man, even you, my guy, you know, um, uh, you know, no yeah. one knows. No one knows what we've gone through, right? Yeah, you no, know, like, true. they might have that might have happened to you ten years ago. And you might keep quiet about it, right? Yeah, you know, me and you talk anyway, right? Yeah, but see, counselling, brother, very, very important. No, it's true. It's just nice to sit down with someone to analyze your life. You know, talk about your journey as a child, what is still affecting you as a child, but then also as black professionals as well. There's times in our profession where there were children taken away um, from their mum and dad. That might have a, an effect on that social worker or as a professional. Mm. Um, children getting stabbed to death. Children getting shot. Brother, that's happened to me. No, sorry, it's not happened to me, but it's happened to my, it's happened to me as part of my caseload. Yeah, and, and I just, I just went to work the next day and I just, yeah, yeah, I just carried yeah, on as yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we need to. We must talk. I think as, we must as, open as, up. As people, we do need to start opening up. We are mm. trying, Rob. We are trying. Um, it is hard because also, like in terms of our community, like you know, mental health as oh. well. You know, I mean, obviously, we could go on, but that's another. Area I'm concerned, that I think bro. Need, you know, but I think, bro. You know, I think this episode definitely was needed. Obviously, yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. want to thank um, Baswa, British Association of Social Workers, oh, 100%, workers, you know, yeah. For, you know, endorsing um, this for us, you know, mm. but I think it was kind of important for anyway mm. that me and Rob as black men talk up, up on these issues, our, our themes and perspective mm. as a, from a black male social perspective and a black male mm. mentors perspective as well. Like these are real things that yeah. we, d we have to deal with every single day in terms of, mm. you know, the ongoing struggle, mm. um, you know, how me and Rob, I said it last time, how we've got, I mentioned position in theory, one of the episodes, yeah. how we've got our position ourselves um, as black men within the social care and education mm -hmm. um, um, sector. These are things that we have to um, deal with and, be, and mm. be conscious of. And also embrace it. Yeah. Brother, let me say something like, listen, I'm a different sound, I'm a different type of guy, you know. Listen, right? Embrace hardships, embrace trauma, embrace the challenge, embrace what you've gone through. Yes, it's not easy, but embrace it. Take it on. Because you know what? It only makes you stronger. It only makes you mentally and emotionally stronger. And in our profession, you need that. You, do. you need you do. to be mentally and emotionally strong. Right, yeah? For your families, for mm. your young people. For yourself and more, for yourself more importantly. I, I want to say something quickly. Yeah, you know, Stormzy recently did. Um, Mel made me do it. Oh, yeah, amazing. Now you see when I saw when I watched this video, amazing. It uplifted me. You know, of course. I, I, I was like raw levels. I was like raw, but like the message of his video, especially at the end, especially at the uh, at the end. At the end, yeah. I think in, in, in essence, even that, that it kind of embodies, yeah. in a way, Black History Month as well. It does. Saying, we're going to have so many things coming up. It I'm does. Saying, but that video for me, amazing. it really kind of up, up, uplifted. Amazing. I'm saying to you. So I'm just saying, you know, Black History Month, yes, we have to look at our history, but mm. also it is about celebrating Black es excellence. Yeah. The history of the things that, we should be recognised for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, I want to recognise yeah. Rob for his hard work, mm. you know, for what he does for um, for young people, you know, what he's mm. done in the education sector, his yeah. qualifications. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And also, no, no, listen, like, like guys, you're watching this, right? Yeah, I don't think you, 
get this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna just talk the talk and everything, right? Yeah, remember Nana's. He's a young manager, right? In social care, it's rare you see that in a lot of boroughs. Now, listen, it's rare, right? Yeah, so he's almost like um, one of the um, what's the word I'm looking for now? Um, uh, pioneers. pioneers, yeah. Pioneers, right, yeah? Mr. Cole. Right, yeah, yeah. You know the thing already, innit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? It's rare. So he's looking to change the narrative. As he said, I am going to become a executive or director. Team or director, right? Yeah. Right. Sometimes you have to put it out there. Yeah, you need yeah? to. Put the energy. Like, we're, we're very big on energy. We all yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, energy. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. Director right. of children's right. services right. coming. Right, you understand, right? Yeah. And there's something in the pipeline that's going to change the narrative even more about the social worker and Mr. Nana, right, yeah? But um, that's another t- conversation for another day. But listen, you guys, thank you so much. And thank I hope, you guys, yeah. I really, I really do hope that we've, you know, come from a mature, guided, inspirational, yeah. motivational, educated yeah. Yeah. Um, point of view on um, how we feel as black men. As black men, absolutely. Black professionals. Yeah. It's very important that we talk about what we've gone through, the challenges, and... But also... I want to say another thing as well to um, the black, uh, 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 the black women as well. Oh, that yeah. I, I'm not going to talk about the black women. Can't the, forget the them, black yeah. women that you're doing fantastic, doing amazing. Black women you're doing in the Black History Month. Black women, we we mm. are showing our appreciation. Yeah. You're doing fantastic in terms of whatever it is you're doing. Mm. Black women, you are fantastic. Yeah. You are doing yeah. excellent, excellent, excellent jobs in what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, because. I know you forgot us as men. You know it's crazy, right? Yeah. But I wanted to say to the do, do black know, women as well, man. Do, do you know what's mad? Most of my mentors are actually black women. Bruv, my managers, yeah. Yeah. Or, do you know what? Yeah, all yeah, my it's managers crazy, have been black, crazy. All my yeah. managers have been black women. And I don't know whether it's Well, yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah, whether yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know yeah. whether it's the mother figure in them. You know that That's you, what I kind of think as well. Yeah, you know that I kind of think that nurturing mother yeah. figure. Um, but they but they also they're boss ladies, right? Yeah. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, they they're structured. Um, they're strong-minded. They're organized. Um, listen, the black managers—they know are... when to give you good advice. They know when to tell you off. Oh. They know when to say to you, "Listen, sit down." <laughs> do, you, do you know what? Yeah, I remember one time. You, you yeah, understand? Yeah, I must, I must, have, I must have met. I remember one time. I must have done something, innit? and mm. my manager just said, "She goes, Nana, yeah, listen. You know, I lo-. she goes, she goes, listen. I see you as my child. Mm. You don't, don't listen, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. She goes, don't, yeah. don't listen. Yeah, like, but." It's like that nurturing thing. It's important. It's needed. It's important. It's needed. Yeah. But all, all my managers yeah. and mentors, yeah. they've all been black women. Yeah. And do you know what as well, right? Yeah. At first, I used to get vexed in her. Like, can't tell me anything. But then... No, nah, do you know what? I, I, embrace, bro, yeah, yeah. I embraced it. Yeah, yeah. But then you begin... But as I said, there are, there are many people that, you know, um, don't tell me anything. Oh, you're, t- you're telling me off. No, nah, no. Nah, right, I wasn't yeah. like that. Yeah. But it, once again, it's mindset. You're being told for your own benefit you're being told because they see something in you. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. And they want you to be better than what yeah. you are. They see the, sometimes they see the potential even before you see it, bruv. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's it, you see, when you do it, it's true. You yeah, understand, right. yeah? All my, all your mentors, mm. all my mentors, all your managers, all my managers, yeah. they've all been black women, you know? Yeah. They've all been black women. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Like, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even deep it. Yeah. Now I'm deep it, it's true. Yeah, but no, you're, you're right. We, we really do have to like, you know, thank them and um Yeah, no, we have to we yeah, have to. We have to we have to thank we have to thank the black women. We have yeah. to thank our black women because yeah. balance, balance, yeah, balance, balance. Yeah, because I know balance, what we were saying, but we have to thank the black women as well. Yeah. Because yeah. the black women, to be honest with you, and a black men, we have we have to say yeah. to black men, black women, yeah, yeah, they uplift us. They uplift and, us. And, and I wanna say this as well. So um uh um it would be great. Um it doesn't have to be the both of us, but I do feel, especially this man here, right, yeah. I think it would be good for you to do some lectures, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you the reason why. Right, things need to like the game needs to change, right? Yeah. yeah, and I don't care whether it's a university, a college, a school, the game needs to change, right? Yeah, and you know, there are many social workers, um, you know, student and trainee social workers, even students studying education, you know, just, just, yeah. just education, right? Yeah, but it's good for us to like maybe, um, and even you as a social worker to go in there and um, give them a, um, a, um, a scenario or a, a workshop or a training course because. Yeah. I do feel right, yeah. The training is not really given on that specific level because mm. it's, it's it's very much like, oh yeah, you've done your um qualification, uh, you got your placement, but does the placement always work? You know. Yeah, no. Do you know a couple of universities? I think they'll probably have I've, I've got partnership with, but I think others, yeah. yeah no, I'm definitely. I'm no, no, no. Listen, don't partnership. Listen, come and get this guy. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah come the, and get the, 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 the acts. Yeah, the acts. Nana, yeah? yeah, it's very important, right? Yeah, because as I said before, this is about role models. It's about uh, you know the experience. Um, it's about um, you know who can I get? Who would be best placed to talk to my particular group? This is the guy. Very important. Social care. Yeah, social care. I'm education. In fact, we come as a couple, but guess what? He also represents me as well, right? Yeah. So, because sometimes he feels like, oh, no, I want to be both. No, 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 bro. You represent both of us, you know. No, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, the thanks tag that, team. Man. Yeah. You no, know what I mean? You. Um, Bread and butter, knife yeah. and fork. Um, Kane and Undertaker, bro. Bread and skimpy. Yeah, what was that? Kane and Undertaker, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me. Um, Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's true, you know. Even though you can't play football, yeah. innit? <laughs> <laughs> I just seen him at the end of the face. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that just blocked him, innit? <laughs> You know, he just had that uncle look, like mad. And it's literally now, but guys, listen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Episode, yeah, appreciate it, man. Bazwa, British Social and oh, Social Thank workers, you so much. Thank you for endorsing thank this you, thank episode you. for me and Rob. Yeah. To our professional colleagues, yes. everyone. Thank you, black teachers, yeah. black students, yeah. black social workers. That's it. That's it. This month is about us, the black community, celebrating. Celebrate. Yeah. Let's have some more news. But thank you so much. Yeah. But guys, you know what to do. You like, subscribe, and share to the social worker and the mentor at Nana Yabi, at Switcher the Geezer, at Robert Dyer. Yeah. We're on um, TikTok as well, social worker mentor pod. We're on Spotify. This episode, I think, Rob, um, they're going to, it's going to be quite, you might see it on other platforms okay. as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Baz will be doing that. But yeah, and then we're also on Twitter as well. Fantastic, yeah? fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, yeah man. But thank you so much, everyone. Thank Take you. Take care, guys. Yeah. Take care. Cool, man.